I have many people ask me how to custom their toolbar, just pick up the certain tool that I use the most and put it into one location. This is the video for you. Are you ready? Let's get started. To starting a new custom toolbar, you can come into this option right here. And when you click on the option on the very bottom, you have something called toolbar. This is will show all kind of the plugging that you have and current toolbar that you have. In the default, you are going to see everything that is coming with the Rhino. Now we want to create a custom toolbar. We are going to come into the file and we're going to create a new one. In this new one, you just need to give it the name. I'm going to give it a uh, say it's a demo toolbar. So I will know like what I'm looking for when I'm looking inside right here. Under the file, you have a demo toolbar and I was just wanted to check and I want to click OK. Now you have this toolbar right here and it's coming really small because we have nothing in there. You can uh, moving on the corner right here to make them bigger or smaller. So what we are going to do here on the toolbar is with the toolbar, you can dock it anywhere that you want. But I wanted to have something that I use the most. For example, I use a bowling a lot, but I don't need to use all of them right there. So the very easy way to copy what you like on the current toolbar that you have is holding the control key and then you just move it to the toolbar that you want. So they say, I want an all the bowling tool moving into here. And this is bowling intersection and also bowling split. Let's say those are the toolbar that I use the most. If you accidentally have something that you don't want it, you just need to move it to, to delete it. To move it in the different order, let's say I wanted to bully intersection, go to the first one. I'm going to hold the shift key. And once you left click, you're going to see the move bar and then you can move it to the different places in the same toolbar. Okay, once you have it, and you see I have an empty one right there, if I don't like it, again, holding the shift key and moving to this blue bar on the top, then the delete will be highlighted and then you can delete this one. It will ask you, you want to delete the toolbar? Yes, I want to delete it. Let's say I'm also going to coming into the transform tool and under the transform tool, I might use certain things really often, for example, I might use the mirror really often. So I wanted to making a copy by holding the control and move it here. So that is a copy over there. I may also wanted to do 3D scale and I use the 3D scale a lot and especially 3D and 1D I use a lot. So I holding the control copy to the new toolbar, holding the control copy to the new toolbar. If you again regret it, maybe I don't use one to have a 1D showing up here. All you need to do is holding the shift and moving to the blue bar here and you will delete it. Okay, so then you just keep dragging to any of the toolbar that you like. This is adding one at a time, just in case you want to add a bunch of them at once. For example, if I wanted to have a whole list of the tool instead of showing the toolbar, right here on the side, I do have, you can show a bunch of the toolbar in a tab. What does that mean? Let's say we want an array, and then we just want to click on this array. So then I will have a two tab here. One is whatever that I like that I use the most. And the second is a group of the things that I use the most. So again, you can have a whole tab there. If you wanted to say you like to use the box, which is the, all the box form and the box will be right there. In case you no longer need that one to be your custom toolbar, you can coming over to the box, just drag it outside and uncheck it. Now that I have the regular toolbar, I have my, the most common use tab, and then you can scale into, uh, make them into the big or small and tuck it anywhere you want. 
Let's say you would like to have them to stay on the top. So then you will have those tabs right here for you to use. If you wanted to move it to somewhere else, let's say you want to tap it to the side. As long as you move it somewhere and it has the purple bar showing up, that's where you can dock it. You can make it bigger or smaller by dragging this uh, border line right there and in order to change the size for your toolbar. I hope that answers your questions for how to arrange the toolbar and how to custom a toolbar with the icon that you use the most. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.